957 the hog, it's time for a morning hog brew review. Josh the Best Our Parade has brought us great flavors. We are getting ready for Oktoberfest, so installment number one of Oktoberfest beers from Polliner, Big Storm, Sam Adams, and you get to taste them next on the Morning Hog on 95.7 The Hogs. 95.7 The Hog, the Morning Hog, Riggs, Steve, Josh, S.R. Parat back in his saddle for a Friday Morning Hog Brew Review. Yeah, baby. Josh, welcome back. Hey, what's going on? We were talking about the calendar before we got on the air. It is technically September. Yep. But that month on the calendar is right before Hogtober or October, as it is. October. And so you were kind enough to give us the first of several previews of some Oktoberfest brews we might want to try, right? That's correct. Yep. But ironically, yeah. Oktoberfest starts in September. Uh, yes, it does. <laughs> um, don't. Oh, boy. What, Steve, what are you talking about? You you have a calendar? You've looked yeah, at it? Yeah, no, but I've, but I've I've been to the actual Oktoberfest. Oh, yeah. Over there right. in he Munich. He lived in Germany. Sure, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm just jealous. Right. Yeah. It's one thing I have not done. Really? Yeah. If anybody wants to fly Josh to uh, Germany, yeah, call I'll us. go. 386-257-0324. No, just get him a plane ticket. <laughs> First, he's got to give us beers, so don't, but don't bother him now. Focus. All right. What do you got for us? So I figure we start with a couple of our domestic Oktoberfest beers. Okay. Mm. We're going to start with Big Storm. Okay. Um, mm. They've been doing this one for a little while. Uh, <clears throat> they've actually won quite a few awards with it. Okay. So you're going to clock in at like 6.4% right oh, around there. Ooh. Okay. All right. Which always surprises mm. me when you think about Oktoberfest, as long as it is, uh, you know, it's was it 16 days? I think. Right. You would think they they'd be hammering back like two Ooh. and two and a half, three percent beers right. or something like that. Right. But they're mm. over there doing five and a half to six and a half percent beers and just rolling with it. Can man. we can we blame or credit Tracy for this or is that more the brewers? I, I, I mean, we can be. blame Tracy for anything. Tracy, it's your fault. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, well, you're right though. That if you're going to be drinking for weeks on end. You would think you want to go a little lower gravity, but no problem hey, here. No, nah, you might as well do it if you're going to do it. I got a question for you. Uh-oh. This is a Marzen, a Marzen Lager. Mertzen. Whoa. Marzen? You better Mertzen. <laughs> so, so they, do they use marzipan for that? <laughs> no? <laughs> How am I supposed to answer that? <laughs> no. I think you no? two should just no. stare at each other and all drink beer during it. How about that? It's not the same thing? No, uh, I, I'm not sure what Mar- Meritson means, um, mm-hmm. but it is the traditional Oktoberfest beer. Uh, okay. Once we get to the end, we also have some fest style beers, but okay. the first three are going to be that Meritson style. Uh, that is what people traditionally um, attribute to Oktoberfest. Okay. Uh, where it's a little bit more on the um, amber side. Okay. A little bit more yes. of a malt finish. Yes. A little less hoppy. Oktoberfest from Big Storm does a really good job of adding some of those right. hops in there that make it kind of their own. Um, Man, it's, it's good stuff. And what get, it, it, the malt finish comes from j- the hops or the additives? The malt. The malt. Just put malt in it. <laughs> it's literally from the word malt. <laughs> wow. trying to make, make What's going on today, guys? Trying to make Steve feel better. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But, you know, Taste if you haven't had this style of beer, it has mm. a very nice, like, caramel finish to them. It does. Yeah. Um, it's not what I'm used to, but it's still right. delicious. It's one of my favorite style beers on the planet. Mm-hmm. It's a shame that a lot of breweries do not do it throughout the year because the style of beer is great throughout the entire year. But it has that word Oktoberfest, and people just assume on November 1st you can't drink it anymore. Yeah. Please do. Yeah. It's delicious beer. Right. And, and, and unfortunately here, like in Florida and stuff, you got to buy this stuff up before it goes away, right? So. Yeah, absolutely. SRProt.com slash beer finder. Find it. <laughs> Let's throw that in there. Uh, all right. That's a good start. We're still in September, though. So what flavor of October do we get next? Sam Adams. Mm. A classic, right? They know what they're doing. This I'm... is the season all that Sam Adams is known for. You know, they, they have their, throughout the year, you know, other flavors. But this is the big one for them. Um, we do a lot of festivals. A lot of, uh, you'll see a lot of. Steins out there with Sam Adams logos right. and stuff like that. So right. it's a big thing for them and it's a big thing for us and it should be a big thing for you too. Yes, it should. And and again, if you can't find Sam in a store, go to the manager and well don't shake your fist, but you know. I would go. shake your fist because uh yeah? if they don't have Sam Adams Oktoberfest, <laughs> right, today, right. What what are they doing being open? Just go to that manager and go, call Josh immediately. I'm thirsty. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Right. Oh boy. Okay. So the Sam clocks in a little bit lower at five point three percent. Okay. Um Maybe they're they're thinking, you know, they might be able to want to yeah. crank through quite a few of these. <laughs> no kidding. You can but, get through uh, a crosswalk with this one at least. Ooh. Yeah. 
they do it right. They know they know what they're doing. <clears throat> yeah, that's this, that's this a little one, bit sweeter. It has a fuller a flavor yes. for sure. Yeah, uh, like I said, they all have very similar uh, flavor profiles, but they each have their own take on it. So you get yeah. a little bit sweeter, a little less sweet, a little bit more hop, right. a little less hop. So it's kind of cool to see the variances, especially when you taste them side by side next to each other. Yeah, it's not a bad idea to do your own. It, 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 some of you, when you're listening to the Morning Hog and you drink along with us, right, to have these beers side by side, you get the real feel of what it's like to do this. Right, absolutely. You get a um, sample. It's also, so, it's also darker in color, too. Yep, L- just slightly. A little bit, yeah. yeah a little bit. Um, I don't know. Looks like a, it's a good crayon color. I'd say that. I you know, believe so. this is the first Oktoberfest that they're going to do in the last two years were closed due to COVID. Uh, oh, that's right. So they're actually going to be doing it this year. Um, I think it's September 17th to Ooh, October 3rd. I look out. Right around there. The cuffs are off. 16 days. Oh, and, but man. They're, you got to think over there is going to be crazy this year. Yeah, you know, you, you shut it down for two years. Yeah, people it, are going to be rip roaring, ready to go. It's going to be balls to the walls <laughs> from the get go. Yeah, <laughs> which is weird that the band who recorded the song "Balls to the Walls," except who's German and Oktoberfest is associated with Germany, right? Right. Whew, I need to take a second. All right, I'm feeling good now. I got, I got to put together. All right, so that's two good flavors. There's so, more. there's so many more. Yeah. Stick around. Morning Hog Brew Review on 95.7 Hog and the Morning Hog. 95.7 Hog, Daytona's rock station. Daytona's drinking station right now because it's the Morning Hog Brew Review. Josh Messer Peratz right <laughs> over there. He's kind enough to bring us a little Oktoberfest preview, although, as you mentioned, it's really Oktoberfest is already happening. Yeah, We're yeah, just jumping on board yeah. right now. We got on board the train, and we had a couple of great flavors. Uh, you got two more left, so let's get into it, man. So we're going to go a little bit more traditional here and okay. actually have some uh, German imported beers. Okay. Uh, we're mm. going to start off with Polliners. Authentic Polliner German beer. That's right. I love that. Okay. Same style as the last two. They put them in bottles, which is good over there. I like that. Right. Yeah. Actually, uh, we have them in cans as well. Really? But, you know, people tend to want to go traditional, so they want the bottles. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Your hand looks good around a bottle, I've noticed. I'm going to do a hand modeling Mine a lot. specifically or... Well, I mean, yours does. It looks, looks great. Weird. I mean, obviously, everybody watching the video of this can. Uh, by the way, you can go to uh, 957 The Hog on the socials and mm. The Morning Hog on YouTube and check it out. Okay, so this is a, this is what the real deal is supposed to taste like, right? right? Um, so this one, 5.8%, so right in between okay. the last two. Oh, um, no. Mm. Not as sweet. Mm-hmm. It has a. Oh, yeah. It comes around there a little bit. Yeah. Complexity again in October. A little flavors. bit more of a burnt or roasted yeah, that's good. taste, yeah. right? <laughs> there you go. Steve, yeah. Josh has no idea what you're saying. Sorry, he's I, he's I enjoying the just beer. Enjoying this it. is his sweet spot, right? By the really way, is. that's good. That's good. That's really, that's very good. But it does have a kind of a roasted malt yeah, at as the opposed end, to the normal burnt. malt. Not bad burnt, but you know what yeah. I mean. So during the break, I looked it up. Yeah. Uh, Meritson, Meritson means March beer. March beer. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So essentially, they brew in March. Oh. And then it lagers out until it's ready for October. Of I knew that. <laughs> so they brew it in March. They stick it in. Yeah. They stick it in a barrel and they yeah. hide it until, until September. It's ready. Yeah. yeah. Until, until right now when we get it. Um, and uh, and I suppose, at, at, like, as you mentioned in the first half, where there's going to be an actual Oktoberfest this year. Yes. That this will be one of those beers. Yep. Um, whether you're German or not. Yeah. September 17th to October 3rd. Oh, boy. Yes, please. Yeah. If you get over there, have a good time. Yeah. Uh, I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. Send us pictures. Uh, 257-0324. You can text them in. We're, you know, we're, you can stream this thing worldwide. So there might be somebody in Germany right now who's hearing this show oh, and this streaming audio and thinking, huh, I've never had a Polliner. Yeah. And if you are that person and you're in Germany, what are you doing? Why have you not had Polliner? I- yeah, I don't know if that's possible to be yeah, in Germany or not. It's probably not. One. Yeah. It's probably forced upon you. All right. We got one more beer left. All right. Yep. So it's tall. We have Hofbrau. It's the tallest of all the mm. bottles. Hofbrau that's been around for, quite frankly, forever. Yes. Um, this is not that style that we have just had. This is their Oktoberfest beer. So it's more of a fest beer. So it's going to be a little lighter than once before. It. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can already see yeah. the color. Yeah. Yep. If you yep. look. Yep. Completely different color. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yep. 
Red and gold. Less pumpkin. But more of a Wait. traditional um, <clears throat> color of it beer, is. I guess you it could is. say. There's no pumpkin in any of these, by the way. No. We should point that out. No. Not mm. yet. There, there, okay. There's some... Be some uh, confusion and crossover between yeah. Oktoberfest beers and pumpkin beers for some right. reason. Yeah, uh, not close at all. Not not at all. You know, I mean, they have. There's literally no pumpkin rind in there. Look at that. Nothing. Unless I choose to put it in there, and I have not bought a pumpkin <laughs> yet. Uh, but uh, so what is? Wh- how much lower ABV is this uh, beast than the uh, other ones? No? Six point three percent. Oh, really? Yep, so oh. It's still rolling on there. You know? Well, hello, sir. Mm. Okay. Yep. This is the kind of beer that I can imagine what you would think at a certain point, maybe for an Oktoberfest party, you would go, I'm going to put on Lederhosen. It makes sense <laughs> now. It makes total sense. I'm wearing some underneath. Pop, are you, did you bring it today? Yeah. <laughs> really? It's, it's for the photos later. Don't yeah, worry yeah. about it. Yeah. Uh, but this is another, uh, this one doesn't have that giant uh, body feel. It's just right. yeah. very easy drinking uh, beer. Exactly. It's for when you want a little bit easier drinking. Mm. Um you know, these are going to be going down real fast. Oh, boy. Uh, I will say that Beat Street out in Daytona is going to be doing a large event okay. um, towards the end of October. I believe it's October 22nd. Okay. Um, we're still in the kind of the planning stages of it right sure. now. Yeah. Uh, but it's going to be a, a very big event. We'll have uh, Warsteiner out there, and Hofbrau, Ooh. Um, some fantastic beers. Right. Have a great time. We did it last year. It was mm-hmm. a lot of fun. Probably do a sign hoisting contest. Oh. Uh, hmm. But I'll, I'll give out some more details. <laughs> As we, we finalize the, the plans I, on that. I will tell you that I remember judging the Stein hoisting contest last right. year. There was much controversy. Uh, whether or not you can lock your elbow or you can bend your elbow is a whole lot of... This year, there will be some official uh, rules in place because... Excellent. That way, there is no Thank you. Hostility. Thank you very much. And I'm, I'm assuming <laughs> that you definitely want me and Steve out there, right? I, mean, Steve, I would love it. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're available. We're, I, I believe we're available in October in general. Steve, are you good? Yeah. You ready to come over? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Let's do it. Be an official judge. Define get a sash. hoist. <laughs> Define hoist. <laughs> to lift. So if I'm holding like this, no, you can't hold like no. that, bro. No, you got to hold it all out, the way bro. out. It's got to be out. Uh, arm. I'm, st- I'm still lifting it. No, all right. No, bro. Fully extended. See? Cheater. You're kicked out of the not competition. Not Up, oh, you're out now. Sorry. Hey, you lost. Yep. All right. So four great flavors. To begin. To begin. To begin That's Oktoberfest. Right. I have a feeling in the next couple of weeks we might be having more of these. Absolutely. Right? Maybe even pumpkin beers. Spice. Those are Did coming I too. That? I don't know. I don't know. They're already in the market. <laughs> Where can we find these beers, Josh? I have no idea. I, I believe we can find them at ABC, some uh, independent stores, Total Wine, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. or the website. SRParat.com slash beer finder. Oh, yeah, that one. That's it. That's it. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, good. All right, well. Yeah, by the way, the Jags play Sunday. Anybody got a prediction of the Jags uh, season kickoff? They got three wins last year. And by the way, T-Mac, he's a Dolphins fan. He says they're going to lose to the Commanders. Josh, <laughs> your pick? Your pick? To the, uh, uh, who am I picking? You, are you picking the Jags or the Commanders? Who you got? Uh, oh, the Jags are going to lose. Okay. Steve? Jags victory? Yeah. Oh! Steve, you're out of yeah. your mind. Jags lose. That's all right, though. Uh, and don't forget, the Morning Hog Fantasy Football League, with all of us involved yeah. in it, much smack talk next week after week one punishing. Uh, until then, cheers. Cheers.